all the lefty start. election predictions that have aged like milk. Of course, all these sources are on redonkulous.com. Definitely check them out. Stephen King from back in June. Trump is going to lose. Prepare for it. Yeah, I, I'm so ashamed of that, man. I was ashamed of him when he wrote Dreamcatcher. Now I'm really ashamed of him. <sighs> this is my personal favorite here. Okay, so let's keep it together, people. Um, I haven't changed my map. Check it out. I still have Harris is getting 349 electoral votes. <laughs> it's going to be a landslide. Um, I know a lot of you are sleeping better because we're having discussions and you're starting to realize this is very realistic. Um, I also have people saying not only do they agree with me on Florida, but Whoa. so many people are telling me to change Texas to blue. I'm going to still leave it at red. Look at how many votes we have to play with. Oh, um, yeah. So many votes. Don't listen to CNN or any of the media. They're, they're, just, they're just going straight off these weird polls and they keep saying everyone's neck and neck. What polls was he going off of to give right. Kamala 349? Right, no, hang on, hang on. He's, they live in bizarre Listen, world. listen. Yeah, right. Uh, I was just going to say that. All right, keep uh, going. Oh, that, that's a, he just goes on and on and it's basically just reading no, 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 shit over and over. Fuck that guy. Move on to the next one. Uh, oh, Harry Sisson, of course. Who's with, that? That's the 18-year-old simp. Oh, that fucking cock. Oh, no, he insists he wasn't paid, even though we have the paperwork proving that his agency was paid directly by the DNC. I'm going to fuck his wife he, uh, when he gets married. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you, get married, and then I'm going to bang, wow. bang his wife, and I'm going to be uh, the dad. I'm just saying, you're dude, <laughs> you'd be at the back of a very long line. <laughs> well, I mean, he's only banging dudes himself, so, I mean, like, it's not going to be that bad. You know, this is the kind of dude who gargles cum before he swallows. Oh! Oh, stop it! He's going to film me and his wife on Chatterbait. Oh, uh, God. And when it comes out of his wife's... Oh, uh, I'm going to find it! Stop! Stop! Move along! Ah. Would you prefer blistering or pistering? <laughs> blistering! Oh, my God. When it comes out of Amy Horton, it's blistering. When it comes out of an average chick, it's pistering. It just burns after Amy Horton. Oh, God. And then Allegedly. The astering. Raymond just pops into the stream and goes, what the fuck did I just walk into? <laughs> <laughs> when uh hey uh, when biden wins in november you'll be leaving you'll be heading back to mar-a-lago to be trump's emotional support dog during all of his criminal trials hope you enjoy that role i hope you enjoy the role of filming your wife from the corner oh. using your own tears as lubricant uh brian takes it in the assenstein Mark my tweet. This Trump rally at MSG will cost Trump the election and Pennsylvania. There are 450,000 Puerto Ricans in Pennsylvania who can all take a joke better than you can take a dick, apparently, Brian. I don't care if this guy's a comedian. You don't joke about race at all. Political rally for president where kids are. <laughs> we joke about race all the this time is, on the show. This is, Krasenstein is one of those people I like to chain to a wall that I walk by every morning on my way to work and slap on my way to work and just keep him alive to like slap him every morning but i've been to yeah. puerto rico and it's it's there's a lot of trash it's a yeah what are you gonna do aged like milk oh here's harry sisson again or harry oh, sissy as we should call him you can call her madam president in 19 days <laughs> no you can't it's okay you can call her you can call her a madam vice president you'll call her madam president soon it's you're just like you're just like deliberately being disrespectful you don't and you don't like notice how like you were just funny disrespectful by calling me to a coat please is that not your you can call, her, you can call <laughs> oh wow oh man nice. that dude has so much soy in his bloodstream i can smell it from here yep morgan j freeman not that one nothing can stop what's coming prison no. Oh, here we go. Rob Reiner, a man who used to make great movies before he literally became meathead. Mm. Kamala Harris will be the 47th president of the United States. Nope. Emma no, Vigland, her final electoral college prediction was that Harris sweeps all seven swing states and ekes out Iowa. And she uh, predicted 325 electoral votes. Uh, what is the total that Trump has? I'll look uh, it up. Hang Steve. On I'm, I'm, I'm on that. Give me a second. I love it. Keep, really? keep going. Lincoln Project. We're voting. Trump is losing. Democracy is winning. Uh, I, I love how they called this democracy when she was literally picked because of her skin color. Yes. Nobody wanted her. She couldn't get any delegates. Yep. And now she's running for the fucking president and you know, less than half the country fell for this bullshit. No, yep. she ran. Pratt past tense. She's gone. She's yeah. done. Yeah, you're right. All so done. Trump, All done. Trump has 295. Winning. No, no, he's got more than that. That's, I thought what, just that's what CNN is showing. Yeah. Is there oh, any okay. questions still? Is there any states still like waiting? 
to officially yes. declare Nevada and Arizona. I think okay. Arizona called it today. I thought uh, they did. Who'd they call? The Ghostbusters, man. Ghostbusters. Oh, Who else would you call? Well, you got to call the Ghostbusters. It looks because... like the, Trump has Nevada as well. Yeah. Anyway, you got to call the slaughter. You got to call the Ghostbusters because two 20 million people didn't show up to vote. Oh shit! I didn't know this. Did you know Tim Walls yes. lost his? Did you know Tim Walls lost his home county to Trump? That's all. Ah, that's ah, awesome. Yes. Uh, that's first so of all, beautiful. first of all, I got three twelve coming up all over the place in the chat. So okay. I think okay. CNN is just refusing okay. to update there, Steve. It's yeah, totally yeah. possible. Totally possible. There Let's was a blurb. NBC on... was telling the truth the other day. I know it's amazing. Right? There was a blurb on CNN. I've, I I caught it. I want to like uh, on uh, some like compilation thing, but it was uh, um ec- economist and more to the right, and he was basically talking Anderson Cooper and Van Jones and a couple of them. He's just basically like, you know, this is a referendum on like the working class American of feeling like insulted and yada yada yada. Yep. And you could just see the visible fear in these feminine cucks yep. on CNN. Like, oh my god. Yeah, just this is a repudiation. Bitches. Hang on, it's a repudiation of over eight years of propaganda. Uh-huh. It's a repudiation of anybody who thought the 2020 election wasn't rigged just because it went in their favor, a- and it's going to backfire on every single person who swallowed the propaganda like a greedy little cum slut. Legendarily, oh, yeah. I'm hoping the politicians, I'm hoping governors and senators and all that start getting they they get it. Yep, but. I don't know. Like I said, I you know, there's been that leaked footage of Jamie Raskin saying they're not going to certify and stuff like that. You well, know, he can try, but Stand the thing by. is, I, because I he's you. got the popular vote mandate, that was something that they did not expect. Yeah. Well, when no, you, they rigged it to cheat, so of course not. Yeah. <laughs> and he still won <laughs> <laughs> again because you know they rigged it in sixteen. But they they need to investigate twenty twenty. Yep, and literally dismantle that cheating machine that they have. They need to call up all the up to hundreds of sworn affidavits, which means that they are legally punishable by perjury law. Not a single person who who signed a sworn affidavit swearing to seeing and witnessing fraud was ever prosecuted. Correct. That by itself is admission that it was rigged. We could get rid of the mail-in absentee or just make it for very extreme, specific circumstances. Overseas troops, period. Yeah, yeah yes, I mean, you know, it. you could take your happy go. ass to, work, uh, you know, and maybe give it a national holiday. Look at all the other shit we give off. Yeah, no shit. Like, why, like seriously, you don't, I, you know how many people I know that are completely able-bodied and just, like, right, they basically it was easier? We, These motherfuckers listen. get Juneteenth off, but we don't fuck, get election yeah, day off. Hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to revamp the entire voting thing because we have too many parasites who do not contribute shit to this country. Damn right. They should not be allowed to vote. Yep. Amen. Just like a driver's registration, you need to pass a civic exam <laughs> and you need to be a net taxpayer. Yes. Damn right. That's it. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonculus.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.